Well, excited to welcome in the head coach from the University of Southern Miss, Coach Jay Hopkins, Hobson. Coach, uh, welcome in to talk about uh, Eagles draft pick, uh, Quez Watkins. Uh, obviously a speed receiver. Love to get your scouting report on Quez and what he's going to bring to this Eagles football team. Well, Fran, thanks for having me. But again, there's probably no uh, guy. I, the Eagles got to steal. I'm just being honest with you. I mean, Quez is a young man that his his upside is tremendous. And again, I think he's a kid that you're just going to see get better and better and better. But when you talk about his physical attributes, it's, you know, he, he's a young man that might even, I don't even know if he's, he, I think he ran, what, four three six at the combine, but He's a guy, once he gets physically stronger and bigger, he could be that even that high four two eight, four two nine 9 guy. Exceptional uh, just talent. I mean, you don't find guys like Quiz very often. So I think the Eagles, uh, kudos to the Eagles to get him in the sixth round with the talent potential. That's an amazing pick by uh, the Eagles. So obviously you saw that blazing speed in high school, but you know, you're know yeah. not quite sure that he's going to turn into that productive player until you get him on campus and get him into your system. At what point did you know, all right, like we got us a player, he's going to be someone for us over the next couple of years? His, fresh, his freshman year. You know, uh, of course, you, you, uh, a guy, Tim Billings and I, we were at Marshall back with Randy Moss back in the day. So you can't, you know, naturally you can't sit there and, and make that <laughs> – comparison this early in his career but he would do some things that you know Tim and Tom we look at each other and go wow we hadn't seen something similar to that in a long time so to be honest with you uh just his upside his ceiling is phenomenal I think he's going to be an outstanding uh, NFL player for a long long time and then is there is there one game that if fans have not seen him play, they say, you know what, like you, you got to go watch this game, you know, against this team or uh, that really kind of stands out and encapsulates the kind of player that he is? Well, I would go, uh, you know, his first game he played for us this season. Remember now, Quiz had those stats and basically only played, you know, 11 games, not 13. So I would go look at the uh, – the, like the first game back, you know, if Troy, we played Troy, the, I think the third week of the season. And, and uh, you know, just I mean, you can pick any game, really, but there's games. You can pick the San Antonio game, uh, games where, you know, you can see explosive plays. And, and, and But Quez is that guy that once he gets loose, you're not going to catch him. You know, that that's one thing with receivers sometimes that you, you, you watch. You know, guys have big playability and, you know, guys make big plays. But I can honestly say I've never seen Quez be caught uh, from behind or an, an angle that looked like it was a fair race. So I think what you get in Quez as a young man, if you get him in space, he makes the catch, you know, you've got touchdown potential every time he touches the ball. Coach, we, we've had this, it's kind of been a recurring theme throughout the week, you know, with the, the mm -hmm. amount of speed the Eagles added. Very tight end centric offense, 12 personnel, uh, you know, with Zach Ertz, Dallas Goddard on the field. When you add that kind of speed on the outside at receiver in a two tight end set, what does that do for a defense? Well, how how dangerous can that be from a matchup standpoint? I think well, what the Eagles are trying to do with that, they're trying to set up one on one situations, and naturally, guys that are that are that talented and have that speed element, you know, that's an equation for big plays. And I think that's something that Quez has proven over his career. Here is, is uh, again, I, I want to say. You know, you just go look over and over and over again. I know at Auburn a couple of years ago, he had some big plays and big touchdowns, but he's a guy that has big play ability and he can make things happen with the football. So that's what you want. If you can get one-on-one -on -one matchups with guys that run in that low 4-3, high 4-2 range, I think in the NFL, I think that's what all those guys are searching for. Well, Coach, thank you so much for joining us, giving us a little bit more insight into Quez Watkins and what he can bring to this Eagles team. Stay safe, stay healthy. Best of luck to you guys here this fall. I appreciate that. And, again, I, I'll say it one last time. I think for a six-round pick, kudos to the Eagles. They got to steal.